Good morning, everyone. I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. Here we are. Happy Friday. Congratulations to making it through this week. I know probably some of my American friends are feeling a little more uh, roundish, shall we say. Oh, if it's anything like our Thanksgiving, you eat and you eat and you eat and it's wonderful. Oh, everything. I love that roast turkey and the whole meal, but man, <laughs> you feel horrible afterwards. So um, if you're rolling out of bed this morning, congratulations, you did it. <laughs> I know that it's sometimes a little stressful too because you have visitors coming and cleaning and planning and all those sorts of things. And so um, yay to Friday, hey? So today we're going to pop on again. We're using the uh, Christmas um, to remember stamp set and the Sweet Stockings designer series paper. I'm just looking at Bud. I think he wants under his blanket. Hang on. Oh, Bud. Okay, here you go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Always when I go live, right? So we're going to do a fun little uh, card example. I've done this one before, but um, it's become one of my favorite. Oh my goodness, I see a raven carrying something humongous in its mouth. I hope it's not an animal. Okay, enough, enough distraction. Squirrel! Yeah. Um, so yes, we're going to use a fun little template here today. Hopefully, if you've tried it before, it'll remind you of this one. If not... Um, Give it a try, it's lots of fun, it's something a little bit different. And there's kind of, you know, an easier version and a little more spruced up version, if you would. So, um, just like France and Mary Ellen, good morning, ladies. Just like them, when you pop on, say hello, tell me where you're from, if I haven't met you yet. Hi, Linda, good morning to you too. I'm so glad to see you guys this morning. Wow, so how's your morning been so far? It's kind of kind of half cloudy, half sunny here, but I woke up and it was five degrees when I uh, first got up. So I'm I holding out hope that we're gonna have a wonderful, warm day here in Canmore. Hi, Norma Jean. Oh, thank you. We have more rain. Oh man. Yeah, I sure hope the flooding's over with. Oh my goodness, you guys had a, tor a terrible go of that. That is. Uh, uh, oh, man, these things just kind of surprise you, take you out of the blue, don't they? Um, horrible, horrible things there. So, fingers crossed they uh, get better really soon. And you get a reprieve from some of that rain. Man, goodness. All right, well, let's flip on over here. You remember my name. We have rain. Oh, do you, France? Uh oh. <laughs> If Fr France is two hours away from me, and so if France has rain, it tends to come from her place to our place. So perhaps there's going to be rain in our forecast. Oh my goodness, there's three more ravens hmm. stocking up for winter or something. I don't know. They're so huge here. In Manitoba, you'd never see ravens like this <laughs> the size of Bud. Hi, Lisa. Good morning. You survived your Thanksgiving. I hope. <laughs> All right, so let me show you the example card that I'm using today. So we are gonna do this cute little fun fold. I learned this from my team member, former team member, Michelle, and I have loved making these cards ever since because they are just so simple, but they are kind of fun, fun, around, fun to play around, play with. And I love how they just sit nicely, right? So they just sit, because some cards, when you the way they're cut, they don't sit nicely on, say, a mantle or on your table. They kind of flop around. You have to kind of lay them down. Hi, Roz. Good morning. So this card I love because it actually just sits. It sits flat, but it shows off a fun little fold. So we are going to be making this little version. Um, however, of course, knowing me, oh, thanks for sharing, Mary Ellen. Oh, you're awesome. That helps my little business, so thank you so much for doing that. Um, this version was a cat, uh, dog version. I love how his little sweater matches the pattern 
of this designer series paper only stamping up would think about things like this and then here's the little mouse carrying a gift so isn't that cute all right so of course this time we're gonna do a cat version why not right I'm not a cat person if you haven't chimed in on are you a cat or a dog person yet feel free to let me know in the comments which is kind of your preference but today yes we're gonna do a cat version of this card so what we have here is a little bit different of a card base. All the measurements are going to be on my blog later on today, so no worries if you don't get them written down right away. You can always go back and check them out. So this card base is four and a quarter by 11, folded in half, so you can score at five and a half and four and a quarter, okay, on one of the sides. And that just gives us this little fold here that we can make kind of a little flap for. So I've also got a piece here for the front. Now if you don't, you don't have to make this bend in here, you can just leave it flat. So if you're wanting to do that, what we do is get a piece of designer series paper or like I used here, some embossed, you know, cardstock, whatever you want to use, and it would measure four by four. But if you're doing the little foldy piece, I suggest you do three and three quarters by three and three quarters. It just makes it a little bit easier to um, glue on and fold. Card insert, of course, four by four. And then you can embellish the front however you want here. I've got my Hippo and Friends dies that I uh, got because we used them in the chopped this month. And I, at first I'm like, oh. I'm not going to use hippos and unicorns and little horses and things. However, I just had a, a person in our condo. She wants some cards for her little, hmm, is she your niece? I think she's a, hmm, can't remember. <laughs> for a little someone in her life. And so she wants little girl cards. So they'll come in handy. They're perfect. But the dies that come with this set are incredible. And I've been using them so much. So they, here we are. I'm using Bumblebee, and of course this is some of the designer series paper. Oh, cute. That could even work. So anyways, they, they fit so many neat, thing, neat projects and whatnot. Um, here's our little cat that we're gonna use. So it's just cut out with one of the layering circles. And of course for the inside, do you remember we did this card with the bumblebee stars? This is from Frosted Gingerbread. Good morning, Barbara, good to see you. Aw. And then, like we did before, we made our little star, kind of, I'm gonna call it embellishment, little design, using the um, adhesive sheets. So I turned it into a sticker so I don't have to glue all those little bits and pieces. No thanks. All right, so let's get rolling here. We'll start putting this together. So as I said, you can just leave this card as is, just make it like a little book and go from there. But if you want to change it into kind of that folded floppy piece, where's my trimmer? We're gonna use the scoring blade for this. And all we're gonna do is match up the outside corner to this bottom of the score line there, the inside score line. If that makes sense, let me just make sure everything's lined up. And we're just gonna score there, all the way across on the diagonal. I'm glad I sort of pressured you. <laughs> yeah, you did, but uh, it all worked out good. <laughs> No, you know what? I've been pleasantly surprised with everything that I've kind of had, you know, had to buy for Chopped. Um, they've all been, become a lot of staples that I've used. So, so this is a plug for Chopped. If you haven't participated in Chopped, you should, because you get to play around with some things that maybe you don't own, and you can kind of see how well they work. And uh, never know, they may become a part of your repertoire. All right, I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a, a burnish here, just to give it the little mountain feel. All right, since we're doing this 
bendy card, we're also going to take this piece and cut it in half on the diagonal, kind of to match with that front. So Black Friday sales today. Oh my goodness, I, I opened up my phone to check my email this morning and Black Friday, Black Friday, Black Friday from all, all the different stores and whatnot. All the advertising today. Goodness, you're bombarded. Is, has anybody got anything that they were holding off till Black Friday to get? I know we are wanting to get a little, um, it's kind of like a, a hand carpet cleaner. I'm going to say it's kind of like a, uh, a hand back, but it actually washes your carpet because, you know, we have dogs and they hate winter and <laughs> sometimes they make little, you know, trips to the art room instead of going outside. And so it will be so much more handy to have this little hand um, carpet cleaner and on the spot and uh, I know it will get it much more cleaner than, much more clean than um, me doing it by hand. So uh, hopefully we go and get that today. Um, other than that, I've been looking. I had gotten Kevin a coffee subscription for his birthday. His birthday's on December 10th, by the way. So, so close to Christmas. And I try not to include, you know, Christmas and his birthday because, yeah. I, it's not fair. So um, last year I'd gotten him a coffee subscription and um, he really liked it. It's from Canada and so of course he gets different coffees from all different roasters around Canada. Um, but I don't, I don't, he, I asked him, do you want the same one again? And he's like, oh, well, I, I wouldn't mind trying a different one. So on the hunt now for some amazing coffee roasters. He likes like light to medium coffee. He's a, a little bit of an addict. <laughs> I am not a coffee drinker. I'll drink it iced every once in a while, but not my deal. Did I just drop here? Oh, there's the bottom of my necklace. <laughs> Whoops. All right. So for an, oh, just a minute here. I was gonna add some ribbon on this little portion instead of the designer series paper but if you choose to put some uh, paper just like this one it is one inch by five, four and a quarter four one inch by four let's try that again <laughs> good time to stay away from all stores yes yes I agree now I'm not sure if I should use the gold or the red Maybe we could use both. I don't know. That might be a little too blingish. <laughs> so here's kind of the colors we're, we're using. I don't know. We could tie in that red. Or we can tie in that some of that gold. What do you think? Red or gold? Can you comment in the comments? Which one do you think? Red or gold ribbon along the side there. Should probably do that before we get going too, too far, and I forget to add that. So, vote for your favorite red or gold? Gold. Red, gold. Woof, woof. Hmm. Gold would tie into this gold foil that we're using. Just thought of that. Let's see, anyone else gonna chime in? Actually, I have an idea where we could use both. I have a thought. Okay, let's use gold for over here. So I'm just gonna cut a little piece, a little bit longer than what this is. And let's add a little bit of seal, kind of like the ways we usually do where you tuck it around the outside. Hello, Amy, red. Oh, it does have gold sparkles in it, that red, absolutely. Okay, let's tuck it around. So I've just kind of laid it across the top. Tuck behind like so. 
And then I'm actually going to use my liquid glue. Go over top of your ribbon as well. And ooh, don't go too far. So add some glue here. And then we lay it down. And it's going to stay. One of the coffees that Kevin Highland Heather? What are you talking about? <laughs> you want Highland Heather ribbon there, Lisa? <laughs> okay. So what I was thinking, would it it might look cute if we did a bow. Kind of like a little present. Not sure how this will turn out, but Okay, let's go this one, this one. Woo, it's a big, big bow. I want to shrink that down just a tad. <laughs> now this bow's got a little flappy problem. Got a little bit twisted. So I'm gonna have to play with it, but you get the point. Let's cut this off. And we'll go from there. We'll, we'll, we'll. <laughs> He's, he looks like he woke up from after Thanksgiving. <laughs> he had some troubles. Okay, we'll play with them later. I promise. Stop! Okay. So, we're going to add this gold piece. Maybe a joke. Yeah, okay. Oh, Lisa. Oh, Lisa. We're going to add this piece, but we can't glue it to both halves of this triangle because otherwise it's going it's not going to bend right so we only want half of it to be glued down so that the other half just pops up free so what i'm going to do is just lay this down here and i'm going to actually kind of where this bend mark is i'm going to put a little hole with my take your pick tool and once again down there and that's going to show me where exactly i need to put glue And not go over. So we'll just lay down some stamp and seal and once again I kind of have to pay attention to where I had those little marks for myself. There we go and so now of course when you fold it up voila we've got ourselves a fancy little pop-up and I was going to put this little piece on top. Hmm should we pop this one up? Sure why not? I like pop-up things. All right. That's so cute. Oh, I love that dog. I think it's absolutely adorable. It's just such a little happy face. Whoopsie. There we have it. We'll put it right in the middle. And then we've got our little cat. Let's pop that up. Might as well. Oh, for Pete's sake. I cut my nails and now they're not. <laughs> now I can't do anything. All right, let's just lay this little cat down here. I love how the pattern on the box matter matches the pattern on our card here all right so what I'm thinking for the sentiment is that tis the season in the yellow bumblebee I really liked it on our card that we made the other day I love that it uses the negative space some of my favorite kind of uh, sentiments of course label me bold had that that stamp set had words like that and I just it's become one of my favorites okay sadly it's retired all good things must come to an end right so I'm curious from the Thanksgiving meal I'm gonna talk about food again today 
What is your favorite part of the Thanksgiving meal? Ooh, this side, this side. Let's go this side since we have our fancy bow and whatnot over there. All right. So I know that I'm just going to lay part of this onto the cat. And this will be over here. So he needs to be doubled up on this side. And glue on the other. You saw this sentiment, you thought of me, yeah. If it was buffalo check, we'd be like all out. <laughs> all in, but yeah, whatever. Tis the season. There we go. Okay, so we can add some little bit of bling, I say. Hmm. We do have these little matte decorative dots. I think that may be kind of fun add some hmm or we've got the gilded gems which is the let's bring in the gold with that just got the large ones left come hither one there one there one up here something like Let's move this guy over here. There. Some extra bling. Fiddle with that later. Stuffing. Me too. Me too. I love the stuffing. I am in love. Do you guys have stovetop stuffing where you guys in this in the US? Oh my word. Back in the day, I used to just buy the boxes and eat it for lunch. <laughs> because it's my favorite part of the meal. I'm like, well. Might as well just, you know, eat the best part just by itself. So, and it's so easy to make. Oh, I love stuffing. All right, so since I've made this into a sticker, the great part about it too is not only that it, it's gonna stick to your paper, and you don't have to glue all those little bits, but it also takes off all the little pieces on the inside. So you don't have to go poking around through all those bits to uh, get all those little pieces out of there. Easy. Now we have to kind of position it so that it's going to hold up our flap. So I think something like that. Now I'm going to, okay, so I'm going to remember that that just kind of touches the edge of the card. We're going to pop it up because that helps it even more kind of be a little ledge to um, hold that card up. So. We're gonna put on quite a few dimensionals because we want that to be heavy duty, nice and sturdy. Should be good. <laughs> you think you're gonna make some stove top tonight? Oh my goodness, I love that stuff. And it's so inexpensive too, right? So yeah, when I was single, on, in my single teaching days, you, you needed quick lunches and uh, Anything that tasted good. Oh, and I, re I remember we were in a, a staff meeting and I had made stove tongs. So somebody's like, does somebody have stuffing for lunch? I'm like, oh man. <laughs> yeah, that'd be me. There. Okay. So, try and make these edges a little bit more tidy. It's going to take some playing yet. But what I can do too is I'm going to put a glue dot underneath here just to help hold it so it's not all flippy floppy. But otherwise, there we go. The little star is holding our card. Tis the season. Isn't that cute? All right. So you know what time it is. It's time to vote. Which do you like better, dog or cat card? <laughs> this is much more bold and more, more full, isn't it? That's for sure. It's so salty, but I have a large ice water too. Oh, good. Yeah, you have to even it out, right? Such a sweet card. I love this variation on the book binding. Ah, yes. Makes sense to me. Book binding card. 
All right, dog, cat, which do you think? A dog, yeah, I'm a dog girl, so I tend to lean that way, but I do love all that's going on in this card. I think it's kind of fun. And I do love this little little mouse with the gift on this one. So you can basically kind of put any little shape here. Um, you can actually even put the sentiment. Um, so I could have used, say, tis the season, cut it out and just put it in a little strip here and popped it up and it would have worked just fine. All right, both are sweet. Cat card, cat, cat. All right, we got some cats and some dogs here as per usual. <laughs> We have our favorites, that's for sure. All right. So there we go. Fun cards today. Fun fold. Hopefully if you haven't done this fold before, you've been reminded of it. and Maybe give it a try. Never know how you can make your Christmas cards a little bit more a little jazzed up, if you will. Uh, something a little bit different that would arrive in the mail. And of course, for all your cat, dog, and cat. Uh, cat and dog lovers out there. Uh, hard to pick. Yeah, Amy both. Um, the vet, dog walkers, all those kinds of things. You, I, you have people in your life who uh, own cats and dogs and so they tend to be, you know, in love with their little critters. They're kind of like, they definitely are part of our family. So to receive a card that, you know, kind of encourages those little guys is is a wonderful idea so if you are interested in any of these products that I use today they are from Stampin Up and I am able to sell them so if you want any of these items contact me and I can help you get those into your hands otherwise it is Friday hope to see you all over on my page tonight Woo, Lisa's going live tonight, so make sure to check her out. Yes, she's lots of fun. She's hilarious. If you need a laugh, you need to head on over there because <laughs> she's hilarious. All right, and she has such great ideas, creative, creative ideas and lots of things. So do you know what you're playing with, Lisa? Are you f featuring a certain stamp set or paper or something like that? If not, I will be back again next week. I'm not sure which days just yet. I have to look at my calendar, but we'll be featuring a different stamp set or paper. There will be a different feature. Canadians buy a lot of beautiful things from Jen. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> All right. My families uh, have cats, but granddaughter wants a dog. Now, oh, we're going to talk about nuts and bolts tonight. <laughs> Oh, uh, more knots and bolts talk, eh? Oh, yeah, we talked about that the other day. Oh, I love nuts and bolts. <laughs> Let's have a, like, nuts and bolts and stuffing event. <laughs> I'm casting your long penguin card. Oh, your casing, maybe? Nice. Oh, check that out, then. It's lots of fun, lots of stamping, but uh, definitely a simple card to create. Hi Darcy, I've just finished. Good thing, well, it's being recorded. You can always go back and check the replay. And if you want any of these measurements or what have you, or want to replay, you can always head over to my blog, theartsyfartsygallery.com and have a look. All right, everyone, have a great weekend and I will see you again next week. Bye everyone.